players aren't as into it in October and November. So let's try and find a way to get our players to play harder. Okay, let's create an in-season tournament that no one understands, including the players and the coaches. The NBA owners don't even understand it as a way to get players to play harder. Pretty much every NBA fan is confused about it because most people aren't even used to paying attention to the NBA until after Christmas or March when it really starts to heat up with the standings. And then you see the New Orleans Pelicans or uh, when the uh, Trailblazers would make a push and they would be a high seed. Then they just drop out of the playoff picture and you have those bad teams that were in the playoff picture drop all the way from the two or the three seed to out of the playoffs. So that's why people really didn't pay attention to the NBA right regular season and oh yeah no one wants to play defense for 82 games a year yeah and i don't even blame it at that point (laughs) but they're doing this in-season tournament which if you can try to explain to me what's going on here i don't even i mean i understand what they're trying to do but it doesn't really make any sense what the incentive is i know the winner gets like five hundred thousand dollars that's good that'll pay for a night at the club i guess but um what exactly is this in-season tournament and and what what is it even what's the incentive yeah i mean they have like a few groups but the only incentive in the in season tournament is just players and coaches all get $500,000 like i'm sure jalen brown is thinking of $500,000 after he got paid $318 million the most in nba history and he can't even dribble wow what an incentive there and the thing with this nba turn in season tournament is it's probably going to be timberwolves and sixers at the end of it and the timberwolves or sixers are probably going to win it and then it's going to be like great that doesn't mean anything because both of you are going to get bounced in the first or second round of the playoffs this year so it's like it's not even going to mean anything to your legacy and i feel like players are kind of looking at it as a joke and i think competitively Will players try a little bit harder? Yeah, but the overall feel of it, it just kind of feels like the bubble. Yeah, it feels forced (laughs) too because I don't really understand. Like, if there's no one, like, if you win the tournament, it should incentivize you or at least give you an advantage in, um, you know, the playoffs at the end of the day. Yeah, maybe it's an extra home game in a seven game series or whatever it might be. But if there's no incentive when it actually matters. Nobody's going to be like, let's say this was in the 2000s and Allen Iverson won six straight in season tournaments. That doesn't change his legacy at all. Like in season tournament doesn't mean shit at the end of the day. Yeah. And I have this article from NBA dot com and hopefully this can help answer some of your questions this is the most frequently asked questions about the nba's inaugural in-season tournament so let's dive into this we have what is the nba in-season tournament that's a pretty good question to ask and i feel like most people i see on instagram facebook and x are all asking this question well the nba in-season tournament is a new annual competition for all 30 teams that will debut in the 23-24 season. So it's a tournament with all the teams. There you go. So that's the first question. Okay. Do you feel informed yet? No, not even close. Okay. Another question. Why is the NBA adding an in-season tournament? And it says the answer here. Well, let's find out why it is. Uh, The in-season tournament will provide players and teams with another competition to win. Okay, so we have incentive to win here. All right, that makes sense. Engage fans in a new way and drive additional interest in the early portion of the NBA regular season. Uh, No, all you've done is confuse your fans. You've made them less engaged, if anything. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see how a regular season tournament means anything, but sure. Let's see what Adam Silver has cooking. Yeah, the robot also has uh, when is the end season tournament and it tips off Friday the third. So it already has. And then the championship is on Saturday, December 9th. Mark your calendars. Yeah. Where will it be played? So it's going to be in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. Of course. That's cool. That's great. Which teams will participate? All teams will participate. So we all get a trophy here. That's cool. That's cute. What does the champion of the end season tournament receive? The champion will receive a new trophy, the NBA Cup. Okay. Oh, God. Why are we trying to be like soccer? 
Come on. Oh, this is already disgusting. <laughs> In addition, a prize pool will be allocated to players on the teams that qualify for knockout rounds with allocations increasing depending on how far the teams progress. Wow, I'm sure they'll care about their $100,000. Even Peyton Pritchard wouldn't even think about that, and he's making $40 million. This doesn't make sense. Yeah, and, what? The NBA Cup? The, the NBA. NBA Cup? Are you kidding me? What is this? this is, <laughs> okay, so I went to high school at a pretty small high school, and we had the pep rallies, and you know, during like our, you know, our homecoming or whatever, and we'd win what was called the Pride Cup, and that was great because it was high school and it was like just fun, just like team spirit, all that bullshit. Yeah, the NBA Cup? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Larry O'Brien Trophy or the NBA Cup? Who's gonna play harder for what? Yeah. And then uh, how does the end season tournament affect the regular season? Uh, every team will still play a 82 game regular season. All in season tournament games will count toward the regular season standings, except the championship, which will sit outside of the regular season. So with all this load management, I'm sure the players are excited to play another game. Yeah, this is why it's going to be Timberwolf Sixers. I'm calling it now. You're probably going to be right, too. <laughs> uh how can i watch when can i purchase tickets yeah so that's about it but yeah even my girlfriend had a better idea for this tournament instead of giving the players cash you give the fans who purchase a ticket cash and you have like a lottery so if hmm. you're gonna get 500 instead of giving five hundred thousand to each of the players and the coach how about you make it exciting to engage the fans how about you reward the fans for engaging in the regular season where if you go to the game you purchase a ticket not only will you drive up sales for that game if you buy a ticket to the game you have a chance to win five hundred thousand. so for giving it to players and coaches however many bonuses you be handing out you hand that out to a select number of fans that would drive up ticket sales and then also get the fans more amped of it and then it would also make the fans more upset if their teams lost so if you want to engage the fans and that's the point of it why don't you reward the fans instead of the players like five hundred thousand. i'm sorry doesn't mean much unless you're a rookie even if you're a rookie you're still going to make millions of dollars like that's going to be like a nice signing bonus basically for them. Like even someone like, um, you know, I, I think Anthony Edwards has already gotten paid, but like think of like a rookie, what, Victor, Victor Wenbenyama, right? He's yeah. still making $8 million right now. Yeah. And he's definitely not struggling by any means. $500,000. It's like, oh, great. That's still, like, that's a lot of money for an average person. But for NBA players who have endorsements with Adidas, Nike, New Balance, all these other Gatorade, all these other endorsements. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars is like just a night at the club. Ask James Harden what that's like. <laughs> yeah. He can blow five hundred thousands at a nightclub. Yeah, he had his jersey number retired in his first few weeks in Houston in a gentleman's club. Yeah. So that's a gentleman's club trip for yeah. these NBA players. So I think that's a better idea in the sense that the fans of the winning team, maybe there's like a portion of the pie that goes to the fans at that point. Yeah. And it's like a lottery and then you'll have people buying more tickets. And then some people would probably go to the game. Not even, I bet some people bought tickets, not even realizing they're going to an in season tournament game. Cause I was watching, I think it was Friday night. I was watching Celtics nets and I was like, Oh nice. In season tournament. That's cool. Yeah. It doesn't change anything. No. Nothing changes, especially for like your teams who are going to be there at the end competing for a championship. I just don't think legacy wise, it's going to affect anything. And then the fact that you're making it the NBA cup, it's like, are you trying to appeal to NBA fans or soccer fans? Yeah, I'm sorry. They could have <laughs> definitely done better. Maybe they could have even if they called it like the Larry Bird trophy or the I don't know, call, name it after an, an, a Hall of Famer or something. Yeah, I Maybe mean, then it makes sense. Name it. I don't know the james harden cup since he's like the best regular season player of all time yeah <laughs> the nba cup it's such a lame name yeah such a lame name and this tournament doesn't make any sense and nobody gets it and even after you explain it to me my real question is why yeah at this point you can do better than that like even in minor league baseball what they do is they cut the season in half but those teams that win that half of the division they get like an incentive when they win and this is for MLB players who get like $30,000 a year. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense for them. And that's minor league baseball. This is the national bat. This is outside of the NFL, the biggest brand in the American sports. Yeah. And this is what they came up with. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they need to get uh, Scott Hansen, Sherlock Holmes, 
007 himself to get on this just to find out what the NBA was thinking and why they did this. But it just I don't even think the players like it. Like you want to get us engaged in the playoffs. Like I think Kawhi, it's not going to change whether or not he load manages or not. No. Why would it? There's no reason to. There's no yeah. if you win it, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I don't think someone like Jason Tatum is really gonna care about the NBA Cup. He's like, I'm a Fitch, I'm a you know how much money I'm about to get? Like yeah. I'm about to get paid over a quarter of a billion dollars. Like this means nothing to me. My shoe deal is worth more than this. 